Welcome back to Literosity. Each year, our students take the FSA, and in high school, this assessment is critical to graduation. Earlier this year, Clearwater High School piloted a program to help students with their FSA writing skills, and it was met with great success. We've had the opportunity to work with our um, instructional staff developers to put together a plan that is second to none. I'm very proud of our teachers and the way we've been able to work with the district. And what we've seen is that the, the rigor has just moved tenfold. Not only in our language arts and reading courses, but in our biology, in our mathematics, our social studies, because it's rubbing off. The, the, the whole process, and, and the other teachers coming in saying, hey, we'd like to be a part of this too. What are some of the strategies that we could use? So what we've seen is a huge shift, a huge paradigm shift in the growth mindset and, and, and the belief in the kids and the fact that collaborative structures need to happen. Uh, the principal was really interested in getting involved in a project to uh, help his teachers and help the school make growth, really quick growth. We knew it had to be fast and furious. We only had a few weeks before the FSA was going to happen. After determining the areas that we would need to focus on to really have the most impact, we did some on-the-spot coaching. We were able to really find some targeted skills. So they're asking us to make some inferences based on what we just read, right? We honed in on um, standards aligned resources that would really catch a lot of those um, lower lying areas that we really needed to focus on and we brought in collaborative structures that really got the students doing most of the thinking and most of the talking and really kind of beefing up their work. Show me, what is, how are you going to turn that into a showing center? Today in my class you saw the kids working collaboratively to improve writing and my what I'm trying to do is get the students to do the work because before I had been doing a lot of teacher you know direct teaching but what I really want to get the students to do and what because of this training what I've really been prompted to do is get the students to teach each other and to teach you know themselves in these collaborative groups so that's what you saw today as them collaborating together to um, for feeling prepared wise, I'd say on a scale from 1 to 10, I was about an 8. Learning a lot of different things in class helped me go into the test feeling more comfortable that I was going to be able to actually do well on the test. Like I said, I didn't know how to open, it, get, grab their attention. All those techniques you guys taught us, like uh, the CC, just how to hook them and make them want to read your story. Uh, you know, I wasn't really, I didn't know any of those techniques. So when I went to the FSA, it was definitely, I was a lot more, you know, open-minded. I was a lot more confident, for sure. Okay, so going into the writing FSA, I felt prepared because, like, we were doing so much practice in class. So I just, like, I felt like I was ready to do it. You can see more about the Progressive Teaching Project on the current edition of Inside the PCS Classroom. That's our show. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.